Hello guys, it is that random dude and today I'll be um testing out something a little um crazy. So um today I'll be testing out the Null DC emulator for the PSP. Now what this is is a Dreamcast emulator for the PSP. Um, but before we start guys, make sure you guys like and subscribe to this channel for more content coming soon. And also please share with your family, friends, whoever. Definitely help out with the channel. So yeah, so a subscription is free. So why not do it? <laughs> um, but yeah, so this Dreamcast emulator, Null DC, has been in the works for well over 10 years now. I feel old saying that. Um... And this right here is the latest build. Now, I won't show you guys how to install it in this video. I might do that later on. But um, I will be showing off Marvel vs. Capcom 2. Um, so, yeah, without further ado, let's start this up. So, of course, as always, you will need a modded PSP for this. There's no way you can do it with official firmware, unfortunately. And... All your games need to be in the GDI format. So here we have Marvel vs. Capcom 2, Project Justice, and Street Fighter 3 Third Strike. Now, I have tried Street Fighter 3 Third Strike, and it's soft locked when trying to load, it, load up into a fight, so that's fun. Haven't tried Project Justice yet, but yeah, but I have tried Marvel vs. Capcom 2. So, um, oh, you can also boot into the bio, so I'll quickly show that off. Um, so you can, so you have all these options, so, um, you have the Dreamcast CPU down clock, um, to have a speed boost, you can underclock the AICA, which is like the audio CPU to get speed boost, also I don't think there is a way to get audio in this emulator, so, yeah, um, you got run with interpreter, I wouldn't recommend this, only for debugging. Um, the AICA hack, um, that's for some games that need it, so yeah. And you can underclock the Dreamcast GPU or CPU, whatever it is, so. Yeah, so this is booting into the, um, BIOS, you know, the home menu on the Dreamcast. Sorry, focus, please. There we go. Um, so yeah, now, it does render quite well, um, but it is very slow, you see it's like 37 FPS. 21 now pretty damn slow um and i don't think you can get sound on this emulator unfortunately but even if you could won't be particularly nice won't be too nice to listen to i think would not be very nice to listen to oh you can see my face so would not be very nice to listen to oh i say brew up mole versus capcom 2 well, that's fine then i was going to test that game out anyway um it's running a little fast last time I tried it, so it does boot up, thankfully. But of course, there are rendering issues within the game. As you see right there, rendering issues. Not much you can really do about that unless you enable that AICA hack. But, um, yeah, so this is Marvel vs. Capcom 2. Um, you can save your game if you want to. Oh, you can save your game if you want to. What is going on? Alright, uh, sorry about that. So yeah, you can save your game. Which is good. Um, and you got... The, I'm, I'm just going to show off some of the training mode. Now, um, I might I might even cut this video if it takes forever to load up. Because, be warned. You will be stuck, you know, just waiting in loading times. Because this shit takes forever. Yes, yeah, so this is Marvel vs. Capcom 2. One of my favourite video games of all time, by the way. If you haven't played it, play it. Um, but yeah, so... Um, yeah, you can pick your characters and all that, but it just takes forever, like, honestly. Like, I would not recommend playing this, like, seriously. Like, imagine a Shin Evo. No. But it is cool to see in action... 
But of course, if this takes too long, I'll just have to cut the video and I'll be back with you guys. But, um, yeah, I mean, in terms of rendering, it doesn't do a, doesn't do too much of a bad job. I mean, it's not perfect by any means, but yeah, like it, it was, it was better than I thought it'd be when I first tried it out. So that's uh, that's a good thing. I mean, some of the earlier builds, like the earliest builds, that they, they were just terrible. So yeah, this is the uh, latest build running. I will have a actually, I won't have a download link because um, I might do a tutorial on how to do this stuff um, later, but. Well, that's weird. Doesn't seem to be booting up or loading. Um, okay, that's a bit odd. Um, I'll just boot into the um BIOS instead. And um, yeah, sometimes that can happen. Sometimes they can like. Must be something to do with the um overclock or underclock, where it is. Sorry about that, guys. Um. I mean, I did try it and all the sprites were jumbled up and it was running really slow. So, try and visualise that and just know that it runs horribly. So, yeah, not not very much fun to play. You know, kind of a disgrace to how good Marvel vs. Capcom 2 is. But, anyway, so I'm going to boot into the BIOS now. And hopefully I actually will boot into the BIOS this time. Or just Marvel vs. Capcom 2. Please focus, thank you. Okay, here we go. It should be booting up into the BIOS now. Um, of course, it is taking a while. Um, but, yeah. Yeah, the Dreamcast emulator on the... The Dreamcast emulator on the PS Vita seems to run much better than this, honestly. And it seems to be loading up now, so that's good. I think. Come on. Please. Thank you. So as you can see, um Yeah, um of course it runs slowly and some of the um sprites and stuff are a bit messed up, but yes yeah, so you've got your VMUs here. Um and for some reason there's Crazy Taxi, Dead or Alive, Soul Calibur and uh, Rain Man 2. I never even tried out those games. They just came on the memory card. And of course, there's Marvel vs. Capcom 2. So, um, yeah, and on, on on second VMU, there's nothing. So, um, yeah, it pretty much acts as a normal Dreamcast menu, pretty much. Pretty cool to see, right? But, um, yeah, so that is pretty much it for the um, Null DC emulator. Would I recommend it for playing games? You know, literally, absolutely, such a good emulator. Not. Hell no, do not, you know, only use this for testing out games, like, honestly. It's really kind of a joke, but, joke of an emulator, but it's still decent to see on the PSP. But, with that, guys, I'll see you in the next video, so, bye.